when I first started smoking, oh yeah, yeah, it was the, a great feeling. I loved it. It makes chemical changes in the brain. It physically changes the brain. My attention span was real bad. I was just basically out of it. We found that long-term marijuana users did show IQ decline, but the effect was concentrated among those who began using marijuana as adolescents, which suggests that there's something very specific about the adolescent brain and how marijuana is affecting it. I am addicted to marijuana. Addiction is definitely a brain disease. Teenagers today are more likely to smoke pot than cigarettes. In a recent survey, 23% of teens in the United States said they used marijuana in the last month. Over 6% of high school seniors reported smoking pot daily. Many users believe marijuana is harmless, safer than cigarettes, not addictive like cocaine or heroin. But what in fact are the risks? In this program, we'll try to answer five questions related to marijuana use. Does marijuana affect coordination? Does it increase the risks of mental illness? Does it affect cognition and intelligence? Can you become addicted to marijuana? Are teenagers more susceptible than adults to the effects of marijuana? To try to answer these questions, we'll focus on what the latest brain research shows. But first, some background. Weighing in at a mere three pounds, the human brain is an amazing organ, in many ways more powerful than any computer. While the parts of the brain interact in complex ways, different areas have specific functions, 